no stupid cow uh, she's making a lot of noise but it is what it is all right guys today we are going to be checking out the fpv circles those new motors those are the 30 millimeter they are specially designed for seven and eight inch pops let me pop some battery on it and let's see how this bird fly All right, guys, let's start with some line on site. It's definitely cold today. Uh, temperature is 36 degrees Fahrenheit, which I believe it's about two degrees Celsius. Ooh. I took the GoPro out and I'm currently flying it's a 6S, 6S by the way looking pretty decent seem to have pretty plenty of punch uh, let's go Let's go for a punch out. Uh. Oh yeah. Try to feel pretty direct. It's feel pretty linear linear. And I'm flying. This is my eight inch. It's not a new drone, it's an old drone. I just swap the motors. The motor I have before was the Festa 2514. And I have to say, it's doing pretty well. The prop I have on it are the HQ 8 by 48 no, 8 by 45 by 3 My battery so far seems to be okay because it's pretty cold and of course cold weather and LAPO don't go together pretty well but it's pretty responsive and those are heavy props but clearly this motor have no issue spinning them i love the control on this motor it's, it feels right it doesn't feel overpowered and it is a big motor kebab didn't want to release kebab fpv didn't want to release the status size i did measure them and i can tell you they are definitely bigger wider than 30 millimeter and the height is definitely taller than six inches that's all i'm gonna say as far as that wow and so far, I think my pit is working pretty, pretty nice with this motor. This is a whole drone I did over a year, so I pretty much had my pit perfect for the 2514 motors. But oh yeah, but it seemed to be working okay on a 30 millimeter motors uh, my battery is starting to go down a little bit 3.6 uh, flying until 3.5 oh yeah I like the way the motor feel I mean they're very responsive 
very direct. Okay. Let me land this baby out and we're gonna go for some FPV flight. Let's see how good it does on FPV. What was that? What was that? What was that? We got seen the little shake. I'm not really sure what that was. Let's keep flying. As I thought, what now with the GoPro on? The weight is about a little bit over. My bad, which clearly it's not doing too good. It is cold. I don't know why it's not doing too good. I had it in my pocket for about the last 20 minutes, so it should be warm. But uh, it's flying pretty. I mean, I like the way it's flying. Ah, uh, no, I'm the no. Those are premium models. Those model cost about 29 bucks. Now they may sound expensive, but believe me guys, the quality of the motor is amazing. The motor are made by Border Hobby. And of course Border Hobby make good motor. They're very similar to the Avenger motors. The only difference I can tell between those motors and the Avenger motor is the winding. I mean the wire used for the winding are different. Those seem to be a little bit clearer. And According to Mr. Kab Kebab FPV, those are those wires have a much higher temperature resistance than the one used with the Avenger. But that's the only main difference between those and Avenger. Let me just kind of close it on here. Uh, the throttle response is very direct and it is very linear. As you can see, I mean, I'm just closing there. And I can't, I can't tell no much difference. I mean, it's just, it, I don't know guys. It's flying pretty good. My pit, I may need to work on my pit a little bit. I had a little jerk that you saw in the beginning. I'm not sure what was that about, because it's not, it hasn't been back since. But back to quality, yeah, quality of the motor, pretty good quality, 29 bucks. And the thing is, those motors are much bigger than 28 or 6.5 motors. But 29 or 28 or 6 motor, the one from Flau, from e, uh, who's the other one? The F90 and the one from the Zing. Are actually a lot more expensive than this motor but I can tell you guys from just what I'm experiencing here I have a set of 28 or 6.5 on one of my Avenger on one of my 7 inch they fly good but I have to say those motors are a lot better so my advice to you is gonna be if you're thinking about buying one of those 28 or 6.5 from motor zinc or flower which are more expensive than those i uh, say go with this motor not only you're gonna save some money but the performance is way way better than any of the 28 or 6.5 on the market oh my god come on i think my her units she stop recording, but that's not a big deal. I uh, know Amber, I can hear you. Oh, let me turn Amber. I still have. I oh, know. Let me try to turn the volume down on Amber here. There we go. She should shut up now. <laughs> Why you didn't shut up, Amber? Oh, wrong knob. 
He's just going on the beach ball. There you go. She should shut up now. Now I'm saying, guys, gonna go over, all over the place. Just to sum up, guys, those motors are pretty good for 29 bucks. It's a, it is a bargain. Now I don't have any affiliation with Kebab FEV or FEV Saco. So if you decide to buy those motors from based on this video, just when you go to the website, just let them know I'm the I'm the one who sent you. Uh, that would greatly appreciate that. But yeah, 30 millimeter motors on eight inch drone have no issue with the eight inch pops and definitely should be much better should have no issue with seven inch pop either and i want to post the total weight of the drone with the gopro and without the gopro but i don't think it really it doesn't really matter the things flying pretty good quality motors premium motors and compared to the 2514 i was using earlier i say those are actually slightly better just because of the overall quality of the motor but as far as performance goes i also i like those better they seem to be a lot more control from those motor than the 28 i mean than the 2514 i say even 2806 but i got the 2806 on, my, on, on another one on my drone so i hope that you enjoy guys and one thing guys please go ahead and subscribe I was checking my YouTube data and apparently only 4% of you subscribe to the channel and I know there's a lot more people watching this video so please go ahead and subscribe that will help me grow the channel I greatly appreciate you guys for watching uh, let me learn my batteries are 3.3